Welcome to Caribbean Global Network News and Sports. I am Scott Wilson. In today's headlines, Jamaican escape mosque shooting in New Zealand. And in sports, Aliyah Atkinson joins a new league. Jamaican man held in U.S. seeks a lower bail bond. Jamaican-born U.S. Air Force Reserve Major Andre Sean McDonald, who is accused of trying to destroy evidence in the disappearance of his Jamaican-born wife in the United States, is seeking a reduction in his bail amount amidst an ongoing search to find his wife. Reports are that 29-year-old Andrew McDonald, originally from Port Antonio, Portland, in Jamaica, was last seen alive on Thursday, February 28. She was reported missing the following day. Bexar County Sheriff Javier Salazar reported that based on evidence found at her Timberwood Park home in San Antonio, Texas, Mrs. McDonald could be the victim of foul play. Andre McDonald was charged on Sunday, March 3 for allegedly tampering with evidence in connection with his wife's disappearance. He remains in jail after failing to post bail for US $2 million. Pastor encourages tweeting in church. While some pastors are hitting out on the influence of social media during services, complaining about the distraction it presents, one pastor is all for it. Aston Carlyle, pastor of the Webster Memorial Church in Kingston, says he encourages his members to tweet. Quote, I don't think I'm in a position to say whether or not it's a problem. My members are encouraged to tweet if they find it meaningful. Some people may find it distracting, but it's not like it's a situation where they're tweeting the whole sermon, end quote, he said in an interview with one of Jamaica's dailies. The pastor sees the church doing itself a favor by embracing the new technology and reaching a vast audience. Can we get an amen? Jamaican man narrowly escapes death at mosque shooting in New Zealand. A Jamaican who was among Muslims at one of the mosques in New Zealand where 49 people were killed narrowly escaped death. Adrian Wright, who has been living in New Zealand since 2016, told RGR News that he was seated in the front row at the mosque participating in Friday morning prayers when he heard explosions. He said himself and other worshippers at first thought it was an electrical issue at the mosque until he looked over his shoulder and saw gunshots. Mr. Wright said he escaped through a window, ran to the car park, jumped the fence, and kept jumping walls until he was far away as he possibly could be. He said many of his friends, men, women, and children died in the attack. Mr. Wright is married to a New Zealander. Over to sports, Jamaica to host international football friendly. Minister of Sport Olivia Grange has revealed plans are afoot for Jamaica to play host to a new international friendly football tournament. Grange, who made the revelation during the official opening of the new AstroTurf and facility at the UE JFF Captain Horace Burrell Center of Excellence, recently pointed out that her ministry is currently taking steps to finalize the execution of the Caribbean African Cup. According to the minister, whose portfolio includes cultural responsibilities, the initiative is a part of the Jamaican government's plan to strengthen ties with the African community. And if all goes efficiently, then the tournament could be launched in the coming months. The Cartwright College, Oberlin High, win Under-19 Badminton Championships. The 2019 staging of the Under-19 Schools Badminton Championship was hailed as a success following the finals held recently where Oberlin and the Cartwright College walked away with the respective boys and girls title. The Cartwright College easily took the All-Island girls title with an easy 3-0 win over Immaculate Conception High. The teams now turn their attention to the knockout competition. Leah Atkinson joins new swimming league. Jamaica's double world record holder, Aliyah Atkinson, has joined a growing number of elite athletes who have joined the newly formed International Swimming League. Set to rival the FINA World Cup Series, the ISL includes 12 teams, 6 in Europe and 6 in the United States. Meets will run almost every weekend between the 2019 Pan American Games and the end of the year with a month break between the regular season and the semi-finals. Athletes will be allowed to swim on limited events. The top eight clubs from the regular season, the top four American clubs and top four European clubs will advance to the semi-finals. The minimum prize money available without club salaries or appearance fees for the season is $5.3 million, a figure that doubles the prize money currently offered for the World Cup Series. Well, that's it for CGN News and Sports. I am Scott Wilson. Pleasant viewing.